Hello one for my last project of the league. So I did this video, no like intro to it. I just did, I had the results from it. I'm gonna talk about it. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna link me actually running one of the maps so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so the final project I did is the sort of one that I wanted to test. It wasn't one I was actually happy about doing because it's extremely RNG based, like 100% chance, which is the, um, it's the one that Elshar, Tuna were doing, a lot of people are doing. It's the, uh, I call it the Loot Goblin farming or the God Touch farming system. Um, I don't have anything set for it actually, but. So what it actually is, is I ran 20 Jungle Valley maps with, um, so the 20 Jungle Valley maps, it's pretty much, it's your show through the tree actually first. So the Jungle Valley maps is pretty much using the Wandering Path system about pretty much just juicing the shit out of your maps. That's what this is all about. You know, I'll link to this tree in the description below, but it's also pretty much just taking all the nodes, you know, more Legion, more Breaches, more Abyss, more Breaches, um, Legion Encounters, you know, your, uh, your Eldritch Gaze because you rely on altars extremely heavy with this method. Harbingers, Singular Focus, more Abyss, you know, Quant, you know, Essences never really matter, your Harbingers, your Torments, Legion, um, Chance for Splinter's Drop is Emblems, which triggers a lot, your Top Hat, a little bit of Shrines, more Einhart, more Einhart, more Einhart. So it's pretty much the whole point of this method is you're trying to spawn a God Touch monster and kill it. That's what it's all about. The Scarab one, the Divine one, you're just trying to get Divine Orbs. That's the whole point of this, pretty much. Nothing else. So, I ran 20 maps. Pretty much the way I was doing this is that I was pretty much just scouring Alkinum until I saw at least 24% chance. Ideally 25, but it's extremely rare to hit. And that was the uh, increase rare monsters, I believe what it is, in a map. And... You can see that it took me 523 scourings and 591 alchemy orbs to get 20 maps. And that's taking a 24% chance. And then on top of that, you want to make them all 6 mod and then annul off anything you can't run. So exalting all the maps cost me 38 exalts just to make them all 6 mod. And on you can see like it adds up pretty quick just from doing 20 maps. And then also on top of that, you're also running Compass Blight, Compass Breach, Compass Abyss, and Compass Legion. Legion being the most expensive one, 85 each. And then on top of that, you we are running four Winged Scarabs. And we're pretty much running Winged Legion, Abyss, Breach, and Reliquary. You're pretty much, if you want to do it the way I did in this league, if this still works in the future, hard to say, but just buy any of them, for like one, one to buy for five of them, and then just take them over to the bench. And then just do this to convert them into the correct ones. That's what I did. It saves a lot of money. Because you're not going to want to... Like buying like, you know, Winged Abyss. It's going to cost you about 50 chaos each. Where you can just do the other method and save money. But yeah, like Reliquary, Legion, um, Abyss, and... I don't have the last one. I used them all, it looks like. Yeah, but you want to get the four and just run them. But I'm pretty much also Kirik, you're taking Abyss. And then also make sure you put at least one Deli Orb in all your maps. So all in all in 20 maps, it costs about 26.8 Divines just to make 20 maps. So it's a little bit over one Divine per map. So you need to make at least over one Divine. And then when I did this, I only calculated the Exalts, Divines, and I got one of the um, Scarab God Touch, so I just clued it also. All the winged ones that dropped because it dropped a shit ton. But in the 20 maps, I got 34 exalted orbs, 36 divine orbs, and 18 winged scarabs. So we ended up did profit 16 exalts doing this. Do I think this is the best way of making money? No. It's extremely RNG and you have to get extremely lucky. Most of my god touches came from Legion. Um, I think one came from Breach. I had another one come from... I don't think any of them came from Abyss. I think it was mainly Breach and um, 
Legion, and maybe some random ones here and there, but it took me... So when I ran the first... I think it was 16... No. 4, 5... I think the first 14 maps, I only got 5, ex five Divines. I didn't see these last Divines and the Winged drop until like the last like 5 maps. And this is only because like one map dropped 5, which was a start. I think the second one dropped 8, then I had 11, then I had like something else on top of that. But it's extremely rare. It's not something I like doing. I think they definitely need to take this loot goblin farming crap out of the game. I think it was a stupid idea to add it this league. I'm hoping they can remove it. I don't think it's fun. It was very frustrating to run these 20 maps because you know rolling the maps alone took me almost an hour to do. It's not that fun. It's You have to sacrifice a lot of defense to run these because when you're running these also, if you don't get altars, you're not gonna get that many divine orbs. Because on maps where I did not get a single altar, I got maybe like five to seven divine orbs. On maps where I got, you know, duplicate cur um, currency, which doesn't matter too much, it's which the best one you are looking for. And after that one, you will look for the coin rarity one, which is like the biggest one to add more to it. But like after the dupe uh, currency, then the quant rarity one, take whatever you want after that, it doesn't matter. Um, pretty much, you'll see in the video, it's pretty much go in. Avoid all your lead mechanics if, if possible, so then it's hard to avoid them. You know, go through the map, kill all the monsters, you don't need to kill the boss. And then spawn all your altars, click on them, and then go back to the lead mechanics. That's all the strategy really is. It's very straightforward. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, you know, we did get some interesting drops, though. Like, we did get the uh, base of the Sunder Shield. We got two uh, Gentle Touch Gloves. We got a Void Battery. We got a couple um, healthy mines. I think we got a clear mine. We got, that was from a stack deck actually. Like we got an enhanced, um, I think that was, oh yeah, Call of, Boy, um, Call of Brotherhood. Like nothing like super crazy, but like those were the only like random drops out of the Red Clary Scarab. It was interesting doing this project. I don't plan on doing any more projects for the rest of this league. I'm pretty much done with the league at this point. I'm just going to sell everything off here and I'm going to make my last build of the league, which is more of a testing build for next league. So I want to test where my league starter is going to be. I know the skill. I just don't know which version I'm playing of it yet. And then I'm going to use the next build to finish off my last of my challenges, and that'll be it for me for the league. But quick video. I just wanted to go over the last project that I did before I sell everything off. I'll put the tree in the description below and also the, um, the POB of this build in the description below. I probably will make a POB about um, a build about this, um, but this is pretty much Tuna's build. He's the one who made this. I never played with Omni before, so I had to copy someone who played Omni because I don't know anything about the Omni builds. But I wanted to try it. Not my favorite thing to do. It's extremely profitable if you run like you know 40, 50, 60 of these maps. You can easily make over 100 divines. The problem is these maps also average between 10 to 20 minutes each depending on how fast you go they are very time consuming they they're interesting but just want to talk about that real quick uh hope you like the video if you like see you stream a little come on twitch um probably won't be streaming that much until next league starts i'm probably gonna i got roughly a couple more videos left i got the build guy probably this build then i'll have my uh, the Templar Hex Blast build, then what I think about the, temp the Hex Blast builds, and then probably nothing until December when next league starts. But, hope you liked the video. Hope to see everyone on the next one. But I'll leave you everyone all now with the footage of the one map I ran. It had these eight got touching it. back end. Yeah, definitely not doing metamorph. Basic currency duplicate is always the best one to get. I 
that should be it. So the bottom, top one's gem. Doesn't matter. Drop basic currency and gems. Every ritual on this map has very much been a uh, gem one. That's pretty bad. Let's just get rid of this boss area. Now we can start cleaning up the map. Six socket. Okay, I think you died. Templar is somewhere over here. Oh, we got a god touch, apparently. Rip. It's only a five. Lame. Well, actually, I don't know if that is a god touch, though. No, that exalt's dropped. Oh yeah, it was actually. There's a couple of exalted orbs there. So yeah, you definitely do need those increased quant shrines.
Oh, the last Solaris combo, or whatever one of those it is. Hi, Solaris. Well, now we need to make back... 21 divines still to go. So clean. Okay, I think we're actually done. So you definitely do get a lot of blueprints doing these. I think it's just that last little area. I know this area too.
I mean, it doesn't matter if we don't kill this anyway. We're done. I mean, at least we got one guy touched so far. Let's see if we can get any more. 